Hey everybody, this is Andrew, and we're playing more KSP. Um, today we're gonna uh, cash in on the small amount of residual science I was able to earn on our last um, set of missions. And I think the thing that I'm gonna take most important is the Landercan pod. Um, I think I can significantly reduce the weight of my vehicles by using that over the uh, default uh, command module and we have just enough science or more than enough science to uh, grab that so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, as a bonus we also get RCS which we don't really need yet because we really need I don't think we have docking ports anywhere yet that I know of. If there is one, let's see not there. I don't think we have them already. Hmm. How much is that one? 300. Okay, interesting. But no docking ports there. Yeah, I also really like that one, but we're not ready for that yet. So yeah, I think that's the first docking adapters that I can get. So we still have a little ways before we can get those don't really care that much because I don't really care about docking. I'm more interested in getting the nukes. That's really the main thing that we need to uh, get going. So I'm thinking that maybe one more trip back to Minmus might get us that what we need without having to do an interplanetary one, but it doesn't seem very interesting. Um, I think we should try to do a mission out to Duna. Um, even if we only bring a small amount of scientific instruments with us, we should be able to yield valuable data that will get us to the nukes. And we should be able to make it back in one piece. So that's what I'm going to do today. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit of building here and planning. And I'm going to cut and come back when we have an idea in our head. So stay tuned. Okay, everybody, we're back, and this is what I came up with. Pretty standard asparagus stage rocket. I made it a little bit smaller than the last model I was working with in the hopes that our thrust will be enough um, to overcome our weight, and we will get the space efficiently rather than uh, decelerating at uh, 10,000 meters like we were last time. So... Uh, without any prior testing, let's see how this does. We haven't exploded yet, so let's lift off. And did we have any... Nope, we just uh, damaged some launch clamps. Nothing to worry about. Okay, oh, I forgot to set up an abort stage, I forgot to do all sorts of things, but um, with Jebediah here at the uh, helm, uh, we are sure to have a successful mission. So let's hope once these uh, solid rocket boosters uh, separate that we are still going strong. Um, if not, we might just need to try to unlock the main sails if we can figure out where they are on the tech tree. And, uh, I don't know, find some alternative route to get science for the time being. Yeah, and we are continuing to lose speed, so that's not really good. Hopefully that won't go on for too much longer. Let's turn on my light so you guys can see what's going on a little bit better. And we are dropping the first two tanks now. And we're still losing speed, which I don't like. Um, it's... I just don't think the skippers uh, really have what it takes, apparently. I need to rethink my use of the skipper engine and its utility. I'm apparently not using it right. Oh, but I think I see a potential problem, is that we haven't been burning out of our central engine. That might help a little bit. 
we've also wasted a lot of fuel because of that. But, uh, we'll just go with it for right now. Uh, yeah, once we have that center bit going, now we're, uh, we're accelerating again like we should be. So let's take a look at our map view. Okay. Looks like we're in slightly better shape than we have been in the past. I don't know if we're really going to have enough fuel to get out to Duna, though. That seems very unlikely at this point. Very, very unlikely. Let's turn over a little bit more. And we're preparing for our next separation. Okay. That was very clean. Hmm. We might not be going to space today. Hmm. Well, I could try getting rid of the smaller fuel tank here and seeing if that gives us a better uh, thrust-to-weight ratio. I'm not sure. But this is not really looking so good so far. Yeah, and we're already... You can just tell when... You can see right away when something's not going right. Um, pretty clear after playing this game for a while when things don't exactly go the way they're supposed to go. And it's very frustrating. Mm. Well, this might turn into uh, a whole different kind of mission altogether. Let's, uh, where did I put my thermometers and all those good things? Uh, I thought I put them right there. Uh, nope, there we go. Okay, the thermometer. Oh shoot, 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 shoot. Ah! I did not mean to do that. Oh, that was dumb. Alright, senior. You are going to decouple yourself. Abort! Do all the things! Hang on, Jebediah. This is going to be a rough one. Actually, it's really not going to be. <laughs> well, uh, I'll keep recording this, but I'll probably cut it out later if nothing interesting happens. Hey everybody, this is Andrew here, and um, as you can see, some things have happened since uh, the last time I made a video, and we have managed to land a small craft on Duna, and do Mucho Duna, uh, what am I trying to say, Mucho Duna Science. Um, so, uh, that's a good thing. However, I 
I'm not that confident we're going to have enough fuel to get home. It's going to be a pretty close one. Um, but we are going to try awfully hard to do it. And uh, doing that is going to include actually going online and looking up the phase angle uh, to get a transfer from Duna to Kerbin efficiently, uh, as efficiently as possible. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and look that stuff up and use my phone as a, the compass tool on my phone as a protractor and try to get it as close as I can to the correct phase angle so that it's just one less thing to worry about and hopefully we can make it home with all our glorious science. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so we ended up just uh, drawing on a piece of paper and holding the paper up to the screen uh, to get the right angle, which is about 75 degrees uh, between with Kerbin being behind Juna. So, uh, not sure how this is going to go, but uh, we'll give it a go. Um, so, let's give it a shot. Um, hopefully we can make it out of the atmosphere without too much fuel being used up. I really want to get this home because we got a ton of science. We managed to get a, an Ike encounter um, on our way uh, into the Duna system, so we got extra bonus science out of that as well. And I mean, a lot of it has uh, been taken care of with crew reports and stuff, um, but it would be great to get all the uh, experimental modules uh, back in one go. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, so we need to get up to, let's see, what's the atmosphere of Duna? Is 50,000 meters, so we need to get up about, you know, in that range. Okay, probably a good idea to start going sideways now. now let's see, how are we looking here? Wish we could zoom in a little bit more. Well, I'm out of the uh, thick part of the atmosphere anyway. So that's good. And let's, uh, let's transmit what we can here. Okay. Looking pretty good so far. I just don't know if we have enough fuel. Um, Jebediah might need to be rescued. Yeah, you know, I thought about just not going for the landing on Duna, but I figured I definitely had a lot of fuel left in the transfer stage when I got over here, so um, I had enough fuel to slow down without using really any much of this fuel, but uh, I still don't know. I thought I would be okay, but it's going to be tight. start going a little bit more sideways now. Hmm. 
Mm, maybe we should go up a little bit more. Just get those last uh, 10,000 meters to get out of the atmosphere if we can. Get back into orbit here. Uh, anywhere around there is pretty good. Note in two minutes. And we can put our solar panels back out. See if we can do any more uh, EVA report stuff. Nope. Okay. Didn't think so. Thought we had pretty much exhausted everything we possibly could do. I was pretty thorough about that, so let's just speed up. Get where we need to be. And yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay. Oh, we're awfully low on fuel. I'm not liking this at all. That's good enough. We don't need to be perfect. Well, we do, kind of, but we're going to ignore that fact for right now. And we want to be burning here, about. And we want to go in. Let's set our target. Ooh, that looked close. Let's go. Alright. Um I think we wanna go that way. Nope. Alright, well, uh, just give me a few minutes while I adjust this, and we'll find our encounter and come back. Okay, guys, we're going to do something we've never tried to do before, and that's do a gravity assist burn, or encounter, to get out of the Duna system. This should save us a good deal if we do it correctly. Uh, I have no idea if we're going to do it correctly or not. Um but I'm going to give it a go here. Whoa! Oh, come on. Oh, jeez. Well, I almost had it. One moment. Ah, that looks perfect. Yep. Hmm, I'm just wondering, worried that that's going to cause us to speed up rather than slow down. That's my concern. Um, but, you know, it'll be a good experiment, so we can try to do it and... I'm going to quick save here, and uh, if we totally mess everything up, then at least we'll know for next time. So, let's find our spot here. There we go, that looks right. Yeah, this might end us flinging us further out 
something rather than we really want to be losing speed and this might cause us to gain speed or orbital speed I mean um, so I'm not sure if this is really the correct way to do this uh, but let's figure it out so we'll time accelerate here come on that's the fastest we can go wait 20 seconds well really longer than that Ugh. very annoying okay well I'll be back in a minute alright we're gonna try this I don't know what's gonna happen maybe flung out Uh, towards Jewel. I'm not really sure. Or maybe, maybe nothing will happen. I don't know. Maybe this doesn't really do what I think it should do. Um, maybe you have to have it on the other side. That's pro probably the case. Anyway, we'll just say this, this was all Jeb's dream if it doesn't go well. And uh, not worry about it. Very important that we get this pretty dead on. Oh, crap, we overshot a little bit. But that's, I mean, it's not terrible. It's just... going to be very difficult to get perfect. 0.3 meters per second difference. This is when RCS would be handy. Whoa. Okay, everybody, sorry about that. We had uh, a minor technical difficulty there. Come on, just a little bit more. There we go. Let's go. Oh. No, we're good. Kinda. I don't know what's gonna happen, so let's just do it. Let's just experiment here, and if not, hopefully we have a quick save somewhere. Come on. There we go. It would be nice if we could see our orbit after we get outside Duna. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's let's revert back to our quick save because we didn't get what we expected at all. 